Hi everyone, my name is Robin Speziali and I am the national best-selling author of a book called Market Masters, Interviews with Canada's Top Investors. So today I'll be doing a special video. Um, I mostly talk about investing strategies, how to invest in the stock market, etc. But um, what I want to share with you today, if you're an aspiring author, um, is how to become a national bestseller. Okay, so I'm going to go over 20 plus ways of how to market your book. Most people, when they're writing their book, uh, they're not considering the marketing process uh, through writing. You should al always be thinking about your, your end audience, okay? Um, when I wrote my book, Market Masters, you know, it's a finance book. Uh, finance is pretty dry. I made sure it was an entertaining read uh, because, you know, while I go over these 20 plus marketing strategies to become a national bestseller, um, one of the most important uh, ways to spread your book for your book to become popular is word of mouth. So if people don't like your book, if they don't like the content, if they don't find your book riveting, entertaining, they're not going to spread the word. They're not going to tell their, their friend who's a do-it-yourself investor, hey, you've got to read this book by Robin called Market Masters. So that is, you know, first and foremost, the most important thing. Content is king. Always think about who's going to be reading your book, okay? I realized I didn't have a very big market for Market Masters to sell to, um, but you know, I was writing for those, uh, you know, tens of thousands of people, not for millions of people, but throughout the entire book, I knew who I was writing for and I, I, I knew what they wanted. Um, so just quickly before the 20 plus rules or, um, or ways to market your book, uh, it was 2015 when I shopped the manuscript around for Market Masters, the publishers, and I had submitted the manuscript to right around, I think it was between 40 to 45 publishers in, in North America. And it was finally one publisher, you know, I was, I was pretty discouraged, but I kept at it. It was a publisher here in Toronto called ECW Press. Um, the, the founder had read the manuscript over the weekend, emailed me back, said, Robin, um, I found this book very entertaining. I'm not really interested in the stock market, but you know, I, I, I love how you write. Come on into the office on Monday. Came into the office on Monday and um, sat at the, the table uh, and he had, um, he was sitting in front of me and he had uh, he just handed me the advance check and he said, hey, hey, listen, here's the advance check. Here's your printout of the contract. I want you to take the advance check home now um, but uh, have a look at the contract and let me know what you think. Okay, take a week, two weeks, three weeks. Um, but he believed in me in the book and uh, he knew I would work my butt off to market the book, um, which is increasingly important today because a lot of publishers um, don't have as, as high a marketing budget as they had in the past. So a publisher will have to see in you that you are a very good marketer, um, that you can push sales yourself, okay? So let's get into these 20 plus ways on how to market your book, um, you know, how to become a national bestseller. And, and um, the rules to become a national bestseller vary uh, in the US and Canada, but I think that the general uh, rule is that your book must sustain high sales across multiple retailers and distribution channels. So online, um, at locations like at Indigo, like at Barnes and Noble, um, for a period of a couple of weeks or even a month. And it has to achieve this um, in order to become a national bestseller, but you'll never actually get the, the metrics from, uh, you know, the Globe and Mail um, bestselling list, the New York uh, Times bestselling list. It's very much a big secret. Okay, so here are the 20 plus ways. Um, and I have in front of me, actually, um, this is a list I put together. I just uh, wrote down um, in 2015 uh, as I was writing my marketing plan for Market Masters. And, um, you know, it's a lot of scribbles now, but I found the list and I'm going to share that with you today. So, number one, um, before the book is even in stores and on Amazon, uh, you want to put together a um, email subscription list. Okay, so you're going to go to MailChimp and on MailChimp.com you sign up and you create um, a list of friends and family and coworkers. Um, try to target uh, an initial list of 100 um, people. You input your email addresses there and then once a month, uh, you know, leading up to the release of your book, just send out some updates um, to those people who are close to you through MailChimp and uh, it, sh it should be a good template and just talk about your book. Maybe release some, you know, early excerpts or chapters on your book and explain to people how they can pick up your book and when. 
um, based on the release date. So now I've built my subscription list. Um, it started out with friends, families, and coworkers, but because I have a sign up form for my mail list now on my website, robinspezzali.com. I have now like uh, fans of the book, you know, readers, I do it yourself investors all um, subscribing. And I have about uh, just close to 2000 subscribers now of my email list. And it's a great way to keep in touch with people. All right. So in, in case you want a sequel of the book, and this is the most powerful um, way of marketing um, I have found. So number two, set up a website. Okay. So if your book is uh, called, uh, you know, like uh, dogs 101, you know, see if you can set up a domain. Uh, I'm sure dog, dogs 101 is taken, um, but set up a domain, get hosting, use GoDaddy for this and just set up like a, um, a simple website. But most importantly, make sure you have that domain that's based on the title of your book and uh, start putting on some content on that website, you know, put on a link to your subscription for your newsletter on there. Um, and then start sharing some interesting things, start blogging, uh, because those, uh, blogs will be picked up by Google. If people search for, let's say, um, you know, what dog should I buy? Uh, if I have a family, what are the friendliest dogs, um, for kids? Um, Google might pick that up. It'll take them to your blog. And at the end of your, your blog post, you write, say, Hey, if you want to learn more, um, about dogs, I've got this great book that's out. You can pick it up at these locations or on Amazon and send them to that link. Okay. To buy the book. Um, this is the easiest way and, and, and picture it as a funnel from your website, um, to buying your book. So number three, uh, Reddit, Reddit is a great way to meet like-minded people. So when I go on reddit.com, which is like a, a forum, a type of Q and a platform, um, I looked at all the different investing groups on there. Okay. And I started posting excerpts of my book. My book Market Masters um, has 28 interviews with top investors. So I put um, interviews of some of the most popular hedge fund managers on Reddit um, and it linked right back to my website um, that had the full interview. And then from there, people were interested, uh, they would actually go and buy my book. So Reddit is a great way to find like-minded people across so many different topics. Start a conversation on there, start a post, you can reply to conversations that are there already. Um, and just, you know, add to the conversation. Um, so let's see the next tip I would give you is set up a, um, or write a press release. So the, it's, it's, it's pretty old school to write a press release, but I still recommend it. I believe there's some websites like PR web. I think I used, um, I would recommend only the free platforms. You shouldn't have to pay, um, to release a press release online, but, uh, some of my press releases are still floating around Google. And, um, sometimes these media outlets, these journalists, um, will do some searches for press releases. They might come across yours. They'll see it in a professional format. So just study up on how to, to, to write a good press release, um, talking about the release of your book. Um, the next tip here is create a free ebook. Okay. So remember how I talked about the funnel concept that you need to you know, entice people, um, to, you know, first read a blog post on your website and tell them, Hey, if you want more information, um, buy my book. So free ebook is one of the greatest tools. So based on the content of your full book, dogs 101, let's say, um, shrink that into a, you know, 15, 20, 25 page ebook. Um, here are some tips on, um, you know, how to, how to adopt the perfect dog. Okay. How to train the perfect dog. Um, something like that. And then at the very first page of that, you know, small mini book ebook that you give away for free, by the way, on your website, you can post it on different, um, blogs and forums like Reddit. Um, you know, have a call to action, say that, Hey, Hey people, if you're interested, if, if you really like this book, check out my full book. Okay. And, and perhaps leave like a coupon in there for your full book. Uh, free ebook is a great way. I, I, I do that too. Um, look up all the different seminars and the different shows that you can attend. For example, in Toronto, where I, I live, there is uh, the Toronto money show. So I would go to the Toronto money show the year before, and I still go before my book released and just talk to like-minded investors, um, and shared with them how I have this book coming out with all these exclusive interviews with, with, with top investors. Um, and you can even maybe set up like a booth at some of these, um, these events. Um, and you can advertise your book that way as well to like-minded people. And that's key because you're, you're selling to like-minded people. Um, in your email signature. So if you have Google, if you have, um, you know, Yahoo email, uh, make sure to update your signature. And what I have in my signature is, you know, 
uh, regards Robin Speziali, but under that I say, you know, get my new book, Market Masters, um, available at um, Indigo Chapters and online at Amazon.com. And so every um, every time that you uh, send an email um, or respond to an email, uh, you'll you'll have that signature, and someone might be enticed to say, oh, like uh, I want to check this out. I didn't know that Robin wrote a book. I'm going to take a look and, and click on the link. Um, so have that email signature set up. Uh, another great way is um, keep in touch with your university or college, community college. Um, email the um, presidents of the different clubs. So for example, I emailed all the finance and investment clubs. And I said, hey, like I'm releasing this book. Um, I was a graduate of the school, University of Waterloo for me. Can I come to speak? Um, can, can I come to teach some? key investing lessons that I learned from these these uh, top investors in my book. And sure enough, I, I get invited to my um, All In Matter school. I also um, reached out to all, all of the local universities, colleges, and um, they would love for you to speak um, on the topic in your book. And some of them will buy, you know, um, bulk quantities of your books to hand out to their uh, participants for free, or, or, or you can buy your own bulk lot of uh, books from the publisher and then show up. Um, you can give those away or uh, sell them there as well. Um, also, what I would do is that you want to put a list together of all the influencers. So think about think about if, if you receive the book, and, and you should negotiate this in your contract. If you do get a publishing contract with a publisher, get 50 free books from your publisher and put a list together. Which 50 people um, do you want to receive free copies of your book? So again, if it's Dogs 101, you're gonna to wanna to send it to influential people um, in that area. So influential dog trainers, humane society, things like that. People who you can send the book to, and they're so interested um, in the topic that they'll, they'll tell their friends, they'll tell their family, um, and they might end up actually endorsing your book as well. So try to send those books out to those influencers before the release of the book, um, and then uh, you can actually ask for their endorsement to put in the book um, before it goes to print and then before it's released to stores because endorsements really help. Um, it really gives your book credibility. Uh, when someone picks, picks it up, they go to that page and say, wow, it was endorsed by um, this guy, this gal in the industry, and I really respect her. I should read this book. Um, another tip is that you need to sign up um, and create a profile on all these, these uh, book sites. So you, you need to go to goodreads.com you need to go to Facebook and fill out an author page. Um, you need to go to Google Authorship. You need to also fill out a um, Amazon author page. And so you need to go to all these websites. So again, Goodreads, Facebook, Google, and Amazon all have like an author section. Something that when, when, when you finally are an author of a book, you can fill out your details and then people can find more about you there. Um, well, what I would also do is connect with all of the blogs um, that are related to the topic of your book. So again, if it's Dogs 101, um, click, create an inventory of all the books in that space. Go to Google, type in you know dogs, training dogs, best breeds, and then start making friends with all these people. Um, I learned this one from Tim Ferriss. Tim Ferriss, who wrote the book, The 4-Hour Workweek, uh, he had a great network of bloggers. And so what happened is that before the release of his book, The 4-Hour Workweek, he reached, reached out to all of his new friends um, in the blogosphere um, who, who were talking about entrepreneurship, um, same topic, and they helped him promote the book through their own blog readership. Uh, so some of these blogs had you know, 10,000, like a million um, readers. And so t Tim Ferriss got a huge jolt from that. Um, from the blogosphere. So make friends with bloggers. Um, even your business cards, right? If, if you go to vistaprint.ca, you can uh, create a really quick business card. You can say, um, put on the business card, hey, I'm, a, I'm an author of Dogs 101. You can learn more about it here. Um, here are all the uh, social media platforms that I'm on. You can learn more about me as an author. Um, so you, you, know, you can print those out, I think, for like 10 bucks if you're a first time uh, Vistaprint customer. And then you can get like 250 or 500 business cards. Um, Another one I have for you is get in touch with all the journalists. So you're, you're gonna create that press release, you're gonna release it, but you should also contact directly um, journalists. So uh, in Toronto, it's the Globe and Mail, it's the Toronto Star, it's the National Post. I reached out to all three and I got um, featured in all three. Um, you can search for those on Google and you can see what was written about me. But um, what you do is that 
do you search for journalists who are writing about uh, what's in your book, the same topic? So I would only reach out to the business journalists in the Globe and Mail. Um, and I'll say, hey, I've got this book, Market Masters, coming out. It's about investing. I think your readership of your newspaper would be interested um, to learn more. And that's the key. A journalist won't write about something unless it's notable or if they think that uh, it, it, it's beneficial for their own readership. So f go to Google and find out their email addresses of these journalists. Contact, contact them directly. Um, m most of these guys will reply either with a yes or no, but uh, you will get yeses. Um, and hopefully you do get interviewed and, and do get featured in newspapers and online. Um, I would also consider um, for you, let's see, I have some more tips here. Yeah, so you need to reach out as well. This might seem unorthodox and might make, not make sense, but reach out to all of the libraries in your locality. Um, so I reached out to the Toronto Library, all of the branches, um, and they ended, up, they ended up ordering hundreds of books of Market Masters. And why this is important, if you think about it, um, any popular established book, you can easily find it in the library. And if someone doesn't want to buy a book right away, they might go to the library, they might leaf through it first, um, they might read it um, you know, front to back page, but they need to first read it and maybe they'll go out then and buy the book. Or more importantly, what I talked about before, they might love the book so much after borrowing from the library, tell their friends about it, um, and those friends might buy it, or they might buy the book for their friends, for uh, you know, gifts for Christmas and other holidays. Um, so get in touch with the libraries. Um, also, get in touch with all the local bookstores. I know that there's a lot of bookstores that are closing down. Um, the, the, the industry seems to be in decline, but uh, the positive news is that Amazon is opening bookstores as well um, through their pilot project. Talk to bookstores, get in touch with the, the general managers and see if you can um, go there for a book signing. I did a book signing at uh, the Bay and Bloor Indigo and um, the community, there's a lot of people who work on Bay Street, who, who are investors, who work at the banks. And I got a lot of people stopping um, at my book signing booth um, when I was there at the bookstore at Indigo. And I, I think I ended up selling like 20 books. But more importantly, I talked to a lot of people about the book um, and they might buy it later or they might uh, share the book with their friends. Um, so that was a, a really easy um, way to get the word out. Um, and I would do the same for libraries as well, but for, for libraries, not with a book signing, but then go there for speeches. Libraries are always looking for people um, to, to come and speak. Um, that would be a good tip for you as well. I'm trying to think of anything else. I, I think I, I touched on everything here. Um, okay, so Facebook, open up a Facebook group as well, okay? Get a Facebook group open, but don't make it, you know, a, a blatant uh, advertisement for your book. If your book's about dogs, um, start up a Facebook group about dogs and just, you know, start inviting people who might be dog owners, um, you know, perhaps uh, start advertising on Facebook and, and a call to action to join that group on Facebook. Because what you're trying to do, you're trying to build a fan base of people interested um, in your book. And then you can, you know, quickly hint that, hey, like I wrote a book on, on, on dogs and that we're... We're uh, talking a lot about this in the group, but I'll be giving away five copies. Um, and if you don't win a copy, you know, feel free to go to your store and buy one. Um, I also did uh, dabble with Facebook ads and, and Facebook was the most effective for me. So I would, um, you know, I would pay about 250 bucks. I think it was every three months. And I launched a nice little Facebook ad and I sent people directly to um, a special page on my website, robinspezzali.com. Here's another tip. Um, you know, if you have like a, a page that's amandahallman.com, do it like slash dogs 101, send people from your ad to that uh, sub page, and then just have like a whole list of why they should buy the book, maybe have a book excerpt, have all the endorsements on that page, have a really clear book page. And then from there, um, have all the links where, where exactly where you can buy the book on Amazon, um, you know, and then go at Barnes and Noble as well. And the key to today is really generating as many sales as you can on Amazon. So, you know, have a really good author page on Amazon um, and, and just drive as many people to that, uh, to your one Amazon page um, as possible. Now, if you're self publishing your book um, and you, you can't get a, a publisher, what I recommend is go to Smashwords. Smashwords is the best independent ebook publisher um, right now. And I self-published when I was 23 years old. 
This was, you know, before I had Market Masters published. This is years before. And it was fantastic. You can load your ebook on smashwords.com and they'll distribute uh, your book for you um, to Apple iBooks. They'll send it to Google Play um, and they'll send it to all these e retailers um, for you. And if you go on Smashwords, there's some really uh, clever marketing tips on there as well, written by the uh, founder, Mark Coker, um, on how to market your book. Uh, there's also a, a, a author friend of mine um, who was a mentor to me. Um, he also recommended I get a book from the library called, I think it was a thousand or it was a thousand and one ways to market your book. It's a huge book. I went through it quickly. Um, not as many things applied to today, but I think I got about 25 um, tips from there that I actually used to market my book. So get that 1000 ways to market your book from the library too. And also go online and, and research the authors who all are already successful, um, who have sold thousands of books. Um, so if you're writing on uh, a book on business, research someone like Malcolm Gladwell, who's written Blink and a lot of other successful books on business and see how he markets his book and, and, and try to replicate that. Um, and if you wanna set up a good lead page as well, I know I'm going all over the place, but I have lots of ideas for you. If you wanna set up a lead page, um, where you can funnel people. You can send them from an ad to a clear lead page then buying your book. Uh, there's a website, I think it's called leadpages.net or .com. Um, it, it's, it's pretty low cost and they have some, some really nice looking lead pages you can set up there. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Um, you should also give away you know free books to your friends. Um, that should be a given. And oh, here's what I almost forgot. Make sure to tell your friends that, you know, tell them to, to look through your book and the 25 friends who get your book and family, ask them politely once your book releases on Amazon, say, hey, can you please uh, write a short review on Amazon? Um, and by doing that, you're gonna gain credibility really fast on Amazon. Um, and it, it's really a jump start for you. But from there, you want organic reviews. You want, you know, actual readers of your book to, to writing a review. So whenever a reader emails you and says, you know what? I loved reading your book, Dogs 101. Um, this is really great. Respond to them, thank them for emailing you, and then ask the fan, hey, you know, can you write a review on Amazon? Uh, can, can you take five minutes out of your day to do that? And when I ask people, they would usually write a review on Amazon. Um, I have an Amazon.ca for Market Masters, about 58 reviews. Amazon.com, close to 10. I have a bunch of reviews on Indigo, but you know, just, just ask people politely to write reviews. That, is one of the most credible things because when people go to Amazon, uh, they'll buy the book that has you know ten reviews versus the book that has zero. Okay, um, and lastly, I think you know consider launching an ad. This is a very new platform, but an ad in Amazon's platform where if someone's searching from Ma Malcolm Gladwell um, and his books, um, if it's related to business, if your book is related to business, your ad might show um, beside there. Um, and Amazon might recommend your book. Um, so there's you know, a plethora of ways to market your book. Um, I hope uh, what I say here helps. If you have any questions about the, the writing process, um, how to get a publisher or the marketing process, and, and you know, how to become a national bestseller, email me, okay? Email me at r.speziali at gmail.com. Go to my website, robinspeziali.com. You can find my email there, um, and I'd be help, happy to help. Okay guys, thanks for listening to the video and all the best, bye.